What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today Evasion came out with the official iOS 7 jailbreak and I'm going to walk you through the entire process. Now the first thing you want to do if you haven't done so already is go ahead and back up your device. That way you don't lose any information if something goes wrong. Now the next thing that you're going to need is make sure you have a computer running Windows XP or higher, a Mac on 10.6 or higher, or Linux x36 or x3664. You'll also need an iPhone, iPad, or iPod running iOS 7.0 through iOS 7.0.4, and also a USB cable to connect your iDevice to your computer. Now, make sure that if you have a passcode on your device that you turn it off because this can actually cause issues with the jailbreak. And if you're using an iPhone 5S, you probably have that passcode on just for the fact that you have Touch ID. So to turn that off, it's really simple. All you need to do is go to your settings, go down here to general, scroll down to touch ID and passcode, and then type in your passcode and make sure that is turned off. Type in your passcode one more time and then you're good to go. All right, so we'll put that back. Also, before we get started, when you're in the process of jailbreaking, don't mess with iOS or iTunes until the process is completely done. And also one thing to keep in mind is over the air updates can cause issues with evasion jailbreak and can make the jailbreak fail. So what you can do to fix this is just restore your device on iOS 7.0.4 using iTunes. So make sure you back up your device before you do that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to evasion.com. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on. And then depending on what you're running, if you're on a Mac, then you're going to click right here. If you're on Windows, click right here. So I'm on a Mac right now, so I'm going to click on Mac OS X. And it's going to pop up this right here, so just make sure that you download this. And it should go right up here. Now, it's a pretty small uh, file. It's only 29.1 megabytes, but I'm going to go ahead and speed up through this and I'll meet you when it's done. All right, so now that it's done, just click right up here, show this in your folder, and we're gonna drag this to our desktop. Now we're gonna X out of this, and we're done with the browser. So let's go ahead and double click on this, and it should automatically install onto your desktop. All right, so once this window pops up, all you want to do is double click on Evasion 7. Now, if you get this pop up right here that it says Evasion 7 can't be opened because it's from an identified developer, just click OK and then we're going to right click on it and click open and then click open one more time and it should go ahead and open right up. All right, so now all you have to do is make sure that your device is plugged into your Mac or PC and then make sure that your device is not passcode protected one more time and then go ahead and click on jailbreak. And I'm just going to let this go at normal speed. That way you guys have something to reference to once you're going through the process yourself. And it shouldn't take that long. So just sit back and don't mess with your iPhone and don't mess with your computer.
All right, so now at this point, it's going to reboot your device and you do exactly what it says on your computer. It says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new Evasion 7 icon. So we had to do this on the last jailbreak as well, so it's nothing new. So we're just going to unlock it, swipe over to the Evasion 7 icon right here, and that's exactly what it looks like. If I can focus in, and then we're just going to tap on that and then not mess with the device anymore. So once your computer says that it's done, you can see I try to pick mine up and turn mine on, but it's actually not done with the full jailbreaking process yet. So go ahead and leave your device alone and let it finish that up. And once it boots back up, then you're good to go. All right, so that should be the last time that it boots. So now we can unlock our device here. And swipe over and check it out. There is Cydia. And the first time that you open up Cydia, it is going to prepare the file system. And this does take a little bit of time, but just give it a little bit of time. Don't mess with your device and let it do its thing. But I'm going to go ahead and speed up through this. That way you don't have to wait and see. But go ahead and give it time. As long as this dial is going down here, then you know it's still working. All right, so now that it's rebooted, let's go ahead and turn on our device. Swipe to open. And let's go back to Cydia. Now right here, you're just going to choose user. Tap done. And there is your iOS 7 jailbreak and there is your iOS 7 jailbreak. Now right here in a second you're gonna get a pop-up that says you need essential upgrades. So you can see right here you have upgrade essential, complete upgrade, or ignore temporarily. Now what I do and I always recommend is complete upgrade every single time that it gives you this. That way you don't have to worry about it in the future. So go ahead and tap on complete upgrade and that way you don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhonehacks.com.